Hello everyone, this is Subhash. Welcome to Social Studies, Class 10th. In this video, we will discuss about 15th topic, the making of independent India's constitution. Swatantra Bharata Rajanga Nirmanam. Okay, so the first we have to know some basic details of the constitution. Okay, the first one is what is the constitution and second one when and where it was started. So the first, what is constitution? Constitution is a set of rules. Constitution is a niyamala, a patika. Rules, niyamala, patika. Constitution is the supreme law of the country. That means there is no higher law. Constitution is the only supreme law. And in the law, Rajanga me atyunata maina chattam. The name is Maroka chattam antu undadu. Only constitution is the only supreme law. Neither the government nor the people of the country should not break the constitution law. That means everyone in the country should follow the constitution. It could be the government or the people. Okay. Then, what are the elements of the constitution? What does it contain? So, for example, how to run the country and states, powers and duties of the government, what kind of government should be needed for the country. And fundamental rights and duties of the citizen. So, all of these things incorporated in the constitution. And Ilanta Vishalani, Prabutwani, Elanadapali, Deshani, Elanadapali, and Prajulioka Hakulu, Prabutwa Yoka Adikaralu Bajatulu, Prajulioka Hakulu Bajatulu, Ilanta Anni Amshalukura. All of these things included in the constitution. And next, types of constitution. There are two types one is written constitution, and another one is unwritten or uncodified constitution. An example of the written constitution, India, America, Australia. So, these countries have a written constitution. And uh, second one, unwritten. An example of the unwritten constitution, England, New Zealand and Israel. So, these countries have a unwritten constitution. And next, so here, given Nepal and Japan preamble along with India. So, let's see them once. Nepal is a landlocked country. Landlocked country means... A landlocked country does not have a maritime boundary. It means that country does not have a border of an ocean or sea. And a landlocked country and a desha aniki sarihaduga elanti samudra prantamu undadu. Elanti samudra prantamu leni oka desha ni manam landlocked country and tamante bu parivesti the rastamu and tam. Okay. So here, long ago, Nepal was a monarchy country. Monarchy means a country ruled by a king or queen is called monarchy. Raju led into Rani Cheta Paripal in Chapate, Adeshanimano, monarchy country, Roger Rika Deshamantam. In nineteen fifties, Nepal King Mahendra tried to remove monarchy system. That's why elections were held in nineteen fifty nine and again in nineteen ninety one. But monarchy system was not removed completely. And already Roger Rikanga on Deshamana Nepal, Democratica, and Praja Swami Deshanga, Marchalian Kunavaru, King Mahendra, Nepal King Mahendra. So that's why NJ Circle here. The elections were held in 1959 and again 1991. Two times, and the monarchy system monarchy system was not removed completely. After a long struggle, monarchy system was removed. And then immediately, interim constitution was prepared in 2007. Immediately, monarchy system was prepared in Nepal. In 2018, Nepal became a Federal Democratic Republic. In 2008, the Prime Minister But some people of Nepal and politicians opposed this interim constitution. This is the first time in the Prime Minister and politicians opposed this. That means the interim constitution became controversy. Then after it was replaced and revised and it was completed in 2014. Vivadanga Marin Tarvata Mali Dani, Savarinchi, 2014 look complete chess corner. Okay, so then finally Nepal constitution came into effect on 20th September 2015. And Japan. Japan is a constitutional monarchy system, just like a Britain. Britain lage, Japan kuda, Rajanga Badda, Rajarika Desham. Not a monarchy. Please listen carefully. It's not a monarchy. Complete. Here, constitutional monarchy. Monarchy different and constitutional monarchy is different. Okay. So, in constitutional monarchy system, king or queen will be head of the state. And the monarchy, 
కాన్స్టిట్యూషనల్ మొనార్కీ సిస్టంలో ఈ రాజ్యాంగబద్ధ రాజరికమైన ఈ జాపాన్ దేశంలో జాపాన్ లాంటి దేశాల్లో ఎవరు ఉంటారు హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్ ఎవరు ఉంటారు అంటే కింగ్ ఆర్ క్వీన్ విల్ బీ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్ ఆ దేశాధినేత ఎవరు ఉంటారు కింగ్ కానీ రాజు కానీ రాణి కానీ ఉంటారు ఓకే సో బట్ ఇన్ డెమోక్రటిక్ కంట్రీస్ ప్రజాస్వామ్య దేశాలు జస్ట్ లైక్ ఎన్ ఇండియా మన భారతదేశం లాంటి ప్రజాస్వామ్య దేశాలు ప్రెసిడెంట్ విల్ బీ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టేట్ అంటే దేశాధినేతగా ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఉంటాడు ఓకే ఇన్ జపాన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ మెన్షన్ ద వర్ల్డ్ పీస్ సో వై ద జపాన్ ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ పీస్ జపాన్ రాజ్యాంగంలో శాంతి పీస్ మీన్స్ శాంతి అనే పదాన్ని చేర్చడం జరిగింది మరి ఎందుకు బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద సెకండ్ వరల్డ్ వార్ రెండో ప్రపంచ యుద్ధం కారణంగా జపాన్ ప్రజలు తమ యొక్క రాజ్యాంగంలో శాంతి అనే పదాన్ని చేర్చడం జరిగింది బికాస్ ఆఫ్ సెకండ్ వరల్డ్ వార్ ఇన్ దిస్ వార్ జపాన్ లాస్ట్ ఎ లాట్ చాలా నష్టపోయింది రెండో ప్రపంచ యుద్ధంలో సో దట్స్ వై ద ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ద పీస్ ఇన్ ద కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఓకే అండ్ లెట్స్ అబౌట్ ఇంజిన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ హౌ ద ఇంజిన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ వర్స్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ సో హియర్ At the end of the Indian freedom movement, British government decided to give freedom to the people of India. So, in the country, in the country, the British government decided to give freedom to the people of India. So, in this situation, India needs its own constitution. In this country, in this situation, India needs its own constitution. In this situation, India needs its own constitution. So, that's why the elections were held for the constituent assembly. And that's why the elections were held for the constituent assembly. And that's why the elections were held for the constituent assembly. And that's why the elections were held for the constituent assembly. at the end of the freedom movement so then what do constituent assembly ante ee rajyanga parishad em chestundi that constituent assembly will make indian constitution ante bharata rajyangane rachistundi edi this constituent assembly okay so ikkada constituent assembly formed in 1946 after the elections elections were completed in 1946 june or july then after constituent assembly formed in 1946 to make the constitution so how many members were elected so let's see here 292 members elected from the british provinces british rashtra lanchi 292 then after 93 members from the princely states princely states means here the state ruled by the local kings ante sthanika rajula cheta paripalinchabadate danni manam em antam we call princely state and the samsthana lo antam for example nizams in hyderabad raja har singh in jammu and kashmir okay so members were taken from the different communities constituent assembly lo ki vivida rakala community ki chendina members ni teesukodam jarigindi for example here muslims community sikh and others and 26 members from the scheduled caste alage షెడ్యూల్ క్యాస్ట్ నుంచి ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ మెంబర్స్ తీసుకున్నారు ఇట్ హ్యాడ్ ఓన్లీ నైన్ ఉమెన్ మెంబర్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ ద కాన్స్టిట్యూంట్ అసెంబ్లీ దెర్ వర్ ఓన్లీ నైన్ ఉమెన్ మెంబర్స్ కేవలం తొమ్మిది మంది మాత్రమే మహిళలు ఉన్నారు రాజ్యాంగ పరిషత్తులో ఓకే కాంగ్రెస్ బికమ్ ఎ హ్యూజ్ పార్టీ విత్ సిక్స్టీ నైన్ పర్సెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎలక్షన్లో కాన్స్టిట్యూంట్ అసెంబ్లీ కోసం జరిగిన ఎలక్షన్స్లో కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ విన్ అయిన సిక్స్టీ నైన్ పర్సెంట్తో హ్యూజ్ పార్టీగా ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ అయింది దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ Muslim League kuda. Okay. But after the partition of India, separate constitution assembly formed for Pakistan. If the partition is in India or Pakistan, if the union is in the constitution assembly, if the union is in the Pakistan, we have a separate assembly, the constitution assembly. And if we argue, we have a separate constitution assembly formed for Pakistan. Okay. So, but remember here, the constituent assembly members elected indirectly ante pratyakshanga ennukopadaledu parokshanga ennukopaddaru evaru constituent assembly members okay so here in this elections only 10% of the people could vote not all sections of the society ante anni samajika vargalaki ivaledu kevalam 10% people ku maatrame writing vote ivadam jarigindi mari who are the 10% people so here richard pa sorry richest persons scholars politicians and tax payers evaraithe pannu kadtaro wall ilanti wallaku maatrame voting hakku icharu okay so here in this elections princely states were not involved in assam in this constituent assembly elections because they wanted to independent wallu swatantranga undal anukunnaru kabatti ee princely states wall evaraithe unnaro ఈ ఎలక్షన్స్లో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేయలేదు బికాస్ ది వాంటెడ్ టు ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఓకే సో అట్ ద బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద సైషన్ జవహర్లాల్ నెహ్రూ మేడ్ ది సిగ్నిఫికెంట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ 
and the Constituent Assembly on 13 December 1946. And this day, Nehru made a statement in the Raja He addressed and the Constituent Assembly. And the Assembly lo Nehru Garu Prasangin Zarindi. So let's see what was that. Nehru was speaking like this. To remember always that we are here not to function for one party or one group, but always to think of the welfare of the four hundred millions that comprise India. Anaga Ikadamanam Samavesha in the Oka Party Kosamo, Ledante Oka group Kosamo Kadu, Nalabe Kotlamandi. Bharati Yula Sankshyamang Kosam Ani Guttu Pettu Kondi Ani Nehru Garu Rajanga Parishatthilu Prasangin Chidu Vante Maatlaadam Zari Gindi And then a drafting committee was set up under the chairmanship of Dr. P. R. Ambedkar to prepare final draft And they already got a constituent assembly preparing a draft So that means final chair Ani Kenji Saru Oka committee ni That means the drafting committee was set up already the air chest is a rough drop, then clear chair, then the committee is a drafting committee, then the chairman is Dr. B. Arambitkar. So then after, and final drop presented before the constituent assembly and approved on 4th November 1948. Final drop prepared, then the constituent assembly is a drop present when on 4th November 1948. It was adopted on 26 November 1948 and came into effect on 26 January 1950. So that's why we celebrated every year Constitution Day on 26 November and Republic Day on 26th January. So please remember these dates. Okay? Yoka dates ni gurtu petkundi. Republic Day eput celebrate jastam and Constitution Day eput celebrate jastam anadi. Okay? So, and then in the Constituent Assembly, so Ambedkar explained how the Constitution was made. So, he taken into number of committees' advices like Fundamental Committees, fun, Fundamental Committee, Minority Committee, Steering Committee, like in the Constituent Assembly, there were 22 committees. Okay. Rajanga Parshatulo, Rajanga and Rajanchuranki, Constituent Assembly ni divide ga chesar, committees ka. How many? There were 22 committees. Okay. So the draft, drafting constitution is a formidable document. It contains 395 articles. In the final draft law, how many articles in the final drafts? So here it contains 395 articles, 8 schedules, and 22 parts. Okay. Please remember these articles and schedules and parts. Okay. Indian constitution is the largest and written document in the world. Worldwide, the largest constitution is in the that is India. Indian constitution is the largest constitution in the world. Okay. The draft constitution has been before the public for eight months to know the public response. And the Variki Elante Abi Praya Mundi and the Tilskodaniki, Prajala Munduk, Yenemi the Nella Kalam, Prajala Mundu Petanzari in the Koni Copis Tayarchesi, Watani, Prajala Mundu Petar, Valaka, Abi Prayani, Tilskodaniki. Then after number of amendments came from the people. Okay, after that, after the discussion, some of them included in the constitution. At the Yevith is several Luchayo, eight months low, Valva, several Tiskunish, but then Mali revised Chesi. Discussion chasing throughout after revising, after discussing, some of them included in the constitution. So, and now let's see which aspects have been drawn from other nations into our Indian constitution. Okay, Manu Bardadesh Rajangan, of course, Bardh Rajangan Rimich Kunankani Chala Deshal Nchi Kuni Vishalni Manu Mana constitution Loki this Kodan Zarindi. Okay. So that means we borrowed many aspects from the other constitutions like uh, America, Britain, Japan, Germany, South Africa. Okay. Constitution Indian constitution as a borrowed document. Okay. So here